Hello and welcome to Friday. Nibiru Ireland's Polly with you in Dublin, the 27th of March 2020, as we come close to the main event, folks. The main event. Oh, we thought the main event was the virus. No, no, no. That's not the main event, ladies and gents, unless you're hypnotised like all the other people out there. And the main event is coming sooner than you think. And these people, like myself, that have been trying to warn you for years about events, it's only when you go in and see that they put up the information for everybody over the years. But nobody, nobody cares. So whatever happens to the planet, just let's say they deserve it. Because you've been given the warnings and nobody cares less. Not even the asshole that runs that show. I explained yesterday, Mr. Boylan, if you're listening, you're a clown. Yeah, you're a clown. That's right. You're a clown. Classic hits. Fools. With a bit of luck, that station shuts down. Like all the other stations are going to shut down because there's no revenue coming in anymore. And you all deserve it because you are singing off the same mainstream media news report. That's right. That's right. You deserve everything that's coming to you. Karma is a wonderful thing. Bush for a sheepdog. Thanks for the message. One cup of apple cider vinegar. With mother's milk, one cup of raw honey, eight cloves of garlic, blend, put it in a jar, leave it there for five days, and then start drinking it. And ladies and gents, that gets rid of your flu, or the epidemic. Oh, oh, Boris, you forgot, you made a mistake, it's the pandemic. No, nobody told them, nobody told them. Anyway. Enlo Kimberly 35. I've been waiting years and years and years for Paulie to emerge. Open your eyes. Yeah, open your eyes. Tune into Richie from Boston and tune into all the other Richie from Bostons around the world that have been banging your head off the wall. Yeah, what is it? What is it? That's bullshit. That's exactly what it is. I have me bullshit button in front of me. Hang on. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, yeah? Now, I go in and I read a report yesterday from a girl. Her brother drives an ambulance. Her brother drives an ambulance in the UK. Yeah? And he was told to drive around with his empty ambulance with the Nina, Nina, with the swords blaring. That's right. And the blue lights flashing. <sighs> oh, can you smell the shit? Yeah? Edward Mullen. Time for a stiff drink to clear the BS. From my mind, nice one. Really love to drive around. That's right. Do you notice how the weather changed all of a sudden? Just keep an eye on flight radar, folks. And watch all these airplanes that's still flying around. With the pandemic. It took two planes to fly into two buildings. That's right, 9-11. Remember that? And they grounded every plane after that. Because they were worried. Why were they worried when they knew quite well how many planes were going to crash? Oh, yeah. The same people told you about weapons of mass destruction. Remember them? They're still looking for them. And here we go again. Yeah. Anybody watch the, uh, the rocket that took off yesterday? Anybody? Live. Anybody know what the name of the rocket was yesterday? Mm. Same name as a comet that's meant to be coming close to us. Anybody know the name? Funny how this particular rocket just took off called Atlas. Hang on. Is that bullshit I smell? Yes, is that bullshit I smell. So, don't be worrying about the coronavirus bullshit, yeah? No, no, no. Let's worry about a load of other things. Okay, like a front... Okay, like a front. Like a front. Yeah? Like a front. What is a front? A front is when they put something in front of you and hypnotised you. Watch the TV, hypnotise you while the main event is coming. That's right. Big Toe Terrier. 
The new world order is coming. The world will never be the same again. Great video, mate. Big Toe Terry, I spoke to a friend of mine today that seems to think he's going to be back in work in a couple of weeks' time. This is where we are. So, whatever's coming, I hope it's quick. I hope it's quick. It doesn't last long. Whatever it is, and boom, that's it. Humanity is gone. Because out of every ten human beings, there's nine clowns and there's one person that's awake. And guess who the one person is today that's doing the video? That's right. The awake. Okay, big toe terrier. Thanks for sticking by me. Okay, and still the clowns in YT are censoring the videos. The fools. Fools. And I hope, please God, almighty in heaven, get rid of them. Right? Once and for all, goo goo, good luck. And bring in a new search engine. Okay. Probably will be from China with the 5G. Yeah. And ladies and gents, why don't you just go in today to YT that leaves the information there for you to watch? Yeah. Sorry, everything is falling apart here. Everything's falling apart. It's, as I said, that's how stressed out Polly is about this. Okay. What have we got to lose? When we're just about to get martial law, when they put boots on the ground, like we're some sort of, uh, terrorists. I've been putting out the information all week from the clowns from the radio stations that are all singing the same thing. What are you doing out your back garden? What are you doing at home? What are you doing this? Oh my God. Karma. Karma, karma, karma. Please, God. Please, God, these evil, evil people around the world, evil people will be wiped and leave the good people on the planet. Or else, take us all, take the good people, take us all and bring us up to heaven or bring us somewhere else instead of this shithole that we're living on called planet Earth. We've destroyed the world with these clowns, 1% assholes that run the planet. While the clowns like us down the bottom of the pyramids. That's right. And all the evil people in the world. All the evil, evil people in the world. Watch how quickly the Catholic Church starts to fill up now in the next couple of weeks. Everybody praying to God. They couldn't care less about God over the last 20 years since social media. And the jackasses that put it all together, including FB, the Mark Zuckerbergs, the dickheads. Yeah, the Teslas, the assholes. Okay. I couldn't give a shit now at this stage, ladies and gents. Couldn't give a shit. What have I got to lose? Everything I own has fallen apart. I'm trying to hold on to my family now. That's it. Well, everybody signs on to social welfare. 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 Yeah? You think they're just going to give it out to us just like that? No. Angie Smith, come on, Polly, Great video. Yeah. Angie. Angie, I'm cracking up now at this stage. Yeah. Cracking up. Yeah. Our lockdown. Watch as it comes and sweeps across Europe. And then go in and look at the government report where they downgraded COVID-19. It has to be 12% of the world population dead before it's called a pandemic. Unless you are all stupid out there in stupid land. Why don't you just go in and Google it? Good old stupid Google, yeah? And all the assholes that are working from home today. That's right. Yeah. Great to say his work for them now, is it? Tristan de Geer, nice, nicely done, Polly. Yeah, well done, Polly. Brilliant, Polly. Sick of it now at this stage. I am sick of it. Sick of this. Four years later, we've been telling you. Some people have been doing it for over ten years. DB Rocks, you are awesome, my Irish brother. They showed a guy on your local news last night, a 36-year-old EMT with covid they give him a, a techno 
uh, tummy so he couldn't talk or something like that. I'm not a doctor. Just nod his head and say yes and no. While they stick the label COVID-19 onto everybody. That's right. Yeah, that's right. The guy was in ICU with his mobile phone. Doing an interview at 10 o'clock. While all these crisis actors are put onto the television. Please God in heaven. The God the Almighty that I was learnt in school about. And when I go to church on a Sunday with my parents and listen to the scriptures. And I'm not even religious. I hope. Hope what's coming is going to be short and sweet. Because ladies and gents. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. Bullshit. No more influenza. It's funny how the lowest numbers was ever being recorded from uh, influenza and they're telling everybody that it's due to social distancing. Folks, I'm going to spell it out to you in black and white, okay? If you don't wake up very, very quick here, okay, there's something going to happen in the next couple of weeks, okay? That's all I'll say. And just let's say between the 1st of April... And the 30th of April. Something major is going to happen to this planet. Okay. And just let's say. Everybody. That's affected by it. Majority of the people out there. Deserve what's coming. They deserve it. As you go down and speak to your mother and father. Like they're monkeys in a cage. Through glass. What's the end result of all this. Is couples that me for the first time going to stop kissing each other? Are the couples going to stop holding hands? Are you going to stop hugging your daughter or your son because he's uh, too close? Or she's too close? Ladies and gents, wake up. Wake up and look at the censorship on this video and all the other people around the world that try to show you the truth. The truth. Yeah, Listen to them all talking about how they've recovered. Yeah. And ask the question, why does Boris today, when he was being interviewed, he doesn't look sick to me? Why do you keep on calling it an epidemic? That's bullshit. That's right, Boris. Bullshit. Bullshit. And while all the little mammies and daddies and the grannies and granddads shit themselves... A lot, a lot of people are going to disappear sooner than people think with the men with the white hazmat suits. Yeah? You can't even see their faces. I might as well put a, a hazmat suit on and go in and rob a bank. Just go in and tell everybody to get out. COVID-19 is in the bank. Get out. And just leave the safe open. There's so much evil on this planet, ladies and gents. Evil. It's evil, evil, evil with a capital E, yeah? Evil against good. The good people know who they are. They're down the bottom of the pyramid while the gates of hell sits at the top of the pyramid where there's remote control and his wife, another asshole, yeah? My apologies, by the way, for being a little bit blunt here. But if you don't wake up soon, ladies and gents, and snap over, your door will be kicked in by the military. Yeah. No, it won't, Polly. Okay, it won't, Polly. See us. I want to thank everybody who's working to keep our country going through this epidemic. And through this epidemic. This epidemic. Our country will come through this epidemic.